how to drop ship from Alibaba to Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with drop shipping on Shopify using Alibaba. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can do this, and Alibaba can be a great source of products for most dropshippers. However, Alibaba has quite a few limitations, and I'm going to be discussing what those are exactly. Now, Alibaba is basically the wholesale version of AliExpress. It is meant for business to business transactions. And with Alibaba, you usually have larger suppliers and a larger scale. So products on Alibaba usually have a MOQ, which is a minimum order quantity. And with Alibaba, a lot of times you are not going to be able to directly import a product for drop shipping directly to your Shopify store. I'm going to show you guys a way how to do that, but if you automate the process, it definitely is going to yield you results that are similar to AliExpress. Rather than finding the cheapest prices you usually would with Alibaba, you are going to get a slightly higher price simply due to the fact that the sellers that are selling, you know, singular product or are complying with dropshipping are not interested in, you know, uh, offering these wholesale prices. So you can see uh, if we take a product over here, you will see within the product you have all information, you have, you know, all the basic information, then you have quantity. So if you order one, two, three hundred products, you have 10 days, then these many products, 15 days. And then if you want to order more than 15, then for this particular product, the maximum order quantity for a sample piece is one piece and you are going to be sold the sample piece for $69 per piece which is a really high price then if you look at the bottom you will see the minimum order quantity for customized logos is 50 product so this is one thing to note is that most of these products are going to be meant for wholesale now, if you want to do drop shipping with that, I recommend you actually open up the supplier. And once you open up the supplier, you can click on chat now and you can sign into Alibaba and chat with the supplier. So you can talk to the supplier about how many products you want or, you know, what kind of deal they're trying to strike. If there are any discounts, if they would be willing to even drop ship to your customers. Because a lot of times these suppliers are dealing with such large volumes that they don't want to cater to individuals. So we can do this with a little workaround on Shopify using Dropship Man. Now to do that, first we're going to go into settings on the left. Once we go into settings on the left, go into apps and sales channels. Now I have these apps installed. I'll just uninstall them so we can redo this step together. So open up the Shopify app store from the top right. And once you do that, just search for Alibaba. And once you search for Alibaba, all the tools that currently are supporting Alibaba dropshipping will be displayed. Now, the ones that I do recommend uh, include Dropshipman, GSR Dropshipping, AutoDS, and Importify are fine, but both of these are paid tools. You're not going to be able to use them for free. So for beginners, I wouldn't recommend directly opting for a paid tool because you're going to already be investing a lot in marketing, a lot in website design. So you don't want the extra expense of something you could do for free. So simply go ahead and open up Dropship Man. And once you do that, click on install. And once you click on install, a new tab is going to open up. Now, once this new tab opens up, you're going to click on install once more. And once you click on install once more, this is going to lead you back to your Shopify store. From here, the application is going to be installed. You can pin this to the left and you have the free plan that you can use. Now with the free plan, you can import three new products onto your store and you can have unlimited order fulfillment. So you don't have to worry about customers not getting orders just because you're on the free plan, but you only can import three new products. 
To do that, just go into find products on the left. And once you go into find products on the left, what Dropship Man basically does is that it finds the products off of Alibaba that are available with a MOQ of one, which means a minimum order quantity of one. And then it automates that process. So from here, you basically can search the same way you would be searching on Alibaba. You can even do a direct uh, word for word search if you're trying to find the same product. You can take pictures and you can, you know, copy the keywords that were used in Alibaba. So I'm going to search for this particular dress. There's no guarantee you're going to find it. This particular product isn't available by this supplier, so I don't think it would be, and it's not. But I can usually find a similar product. So I'm going to search for button down dress. And we're just going to click on search over here. I'll just search like so. And you guys can see these are some of the listings that are showing up. And the product prices are pretty good. Obviously, you want to be finding products that are not too high in price, especially because when you include all of your service fees, all of the um, fees that might be related to, you know, running your Shopify store, marketing, you want something that you can build a high commission or a high profit margin on. So usually I like to take these dresses and they're around $5, $6 and you can easily list these for over like $20. I like this dress. It's really similar to trending styles right now. So you will see it will display your ship to country. Now you're going to change your ship to country to the country where you're going to be marketing your store. So wherever you expect most of your orders to come from, you're going to add that as your country. Then also be aware of the shipping fee that you're going to be paying and always, always click on this, you know, box that is your shipping box and see the different shipping availabilities as well as the costs and the delivery times. Because sometimes only for a dollar more, you can get your shipping sped up by even a week. I have seen that a lot in Dropshipman. So you want to check that out as well. Once you are certain about everything and you like the product, click on add product to product list. Now, once the product has been added to the product list, that means it has been filtered out from your products. It doesn't mean that it's now active on your store. Now you're going to go into list products under dropship man on the left. And once you click on list products, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find your product. So from here, you're going to optimize this. We are going to optimize our title, which is going to be body con or skin dress. And then I can add this to a particular collection. So I'll add this to my clothing collection, to my dresses collection, and to my all products collection. Then I can also add the product type like this. And then I can also add a tag like so. Once all of this has been completed, I can move towards the next step, which is description. So we're going to go into the description over here and we can optimize this. A lot of times these descriptions are excessive and you might want to remove, you know, extra images from the description. And from here, you can also do your simple AI product description optimization. You can just click that over here and we're not going to include all this, you know, information. So we're just going to remove that and we can just write the oddest style of the summer and, you know, you can forward that and, you know, copyright. But after that, you can select the variants you want to offer. So all the colors you want to offer as well as the sizes. I don't want to offer uh, the sky blue color, so I'm going to uncheck that and I think I'm going to offer the rest of the product then i have the selling price so we are going to mark up the selling price by quite a bit like so this is the new selling price that i'm going to use and i'm going to set a new value for all of them to bulk edit like so once completed i can move towards the next step which is just going into the media and i can optimize that as well so i'll remove the product images of the sky blue dress and then I'll include some different images, such as this one. I think I'm just going to go with this, this, and we're going to remove a couple. 
like so. And once you're done, just click on list product and click on done. And just like that, your product will be listed. It might take a couple of seconds for it to sync up. Then you can go back into product and you would find it in your product within a minute or so. It doesn't take too long to import products from Alibaba or Dropshipman into your actual Shopify store. So we're just going to wait for this to be completed. And once this has been completed, we should be able to see that on the yeah product page. And this is what our product looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.